It's just Bruce. He don't bite. <laughs> Hello. Let's watch Bruce nerd out about his Star Wars toys for a bit. Shall we? Sponsored by Jenna Custom Toys on eBay. Hey, folks. Welcome back to my toy room today. My channel. Whatever you want to call it. Today, we're going to talk about some more toys that are just not wanted. They're terrible. People hate them. But I like them, so I bought them all. And we're talking about specifically the Episode 1 Star Wars action figures. Phantom Menace. That year was 1999. And the reason I like, well, first of all, the movie. Let's just talk real quick about the movie. Uh, Phantom Menace, I loved it. It was the first exposure we had to new Star Wars movie in years. Uh, my daughters were four and five at the time. So, and they had kind of watched the Star Wars movies with me at home, but it wasn't the same. So this was going to be their very first Star Wars experience. So I took them to the theater. We watched the movie. They both loved it. Uh, in fact, that Halloween, we dressed up as, uh, as uh, I was, I was, let's just say I wasn't married anymore. And I hadn't, that was, that was the year I took full custody of my kids, but it was before I got full custody. That Halloween, I dressed up in a uh, Darth Vader costume and uh, my oldest daughter wanted to be, she was five at the time. She wanted to be um, uh, Princess Leia and uh, my youngest daughter wanted to be Queen Amidala. So we dressed up that and I took them on Halloween and I had like a really good Darth Vader costume that I had made myself. Um, I wore that for a few years. Uh, I used to have pictures of it, but uh, my ex-wife is an asshole. We'll just leave it at that. So those pictures are gone. Anyway, with that said, then uh, afterwards they wanted to, because I was collecting uh, action figures back then from the original trilogy, and they wanted to uh, get figures too. So we started collecting the um, Star Wars Episode One figures together. And we had a lot. We had, I, I, I don't know if we had all of them, but we had quite a few. And, uh, well, you know, they grew up and moved out and, uh, they lost interest. They're 29 and 30 now. So, uh, and that's, that's normal. You know, they're girls too. You know, guys, guys carry this stuff like into their old age. Not so much girls. I learned that. So, you know, they grew up, went to school, moved out. So I had all these figures laying around the house. And of course they had a display and we actually never opened any of them because I learned my lesson the first time with the vintage ones, not to open them. And they were fine with that, too, because we would play with the vintage ones when they were really little, and they had fun with that, too. They really got into it after they actually got to see Episode One: Phantom Menace, in the theaters. And I was, of course, I was ecstatic. I, I had someone to play with, so I played with my daughters. And uh, eh, different ships and stuff like that. That's, that's, that's kind of why I ended up getting some of the power to force stuff that I really didn't want to get. But the thing about the Episode One figures was I, I liked them. When they first came out, I liked them. I mean, here, here's here's one of my favorites. I've sold all of the ones I've had, except for these four I'm about to show you. Um, and they had the, the ComTech chip. The ComTech, ComTech chip, which you put it on there and they made sounds and stuff like that. This is Naked C-3PO. Uh, it's a pretty decent, it's a pretty decent uh, figure. It matched the movie. And th that's why it's one of my favorites. Um, and this was a Queen, Queen Amidala. This was one of my daughter's favorites, which is why I never sold it. Um, yeah, so we got that, you know, neener, neener, neener. Um, and uh, uh, there's Darth Maul. Darth Maul was a creepy guy. He was a good character. You know, like I said, I, I really did like the Phantom Menace. And then, of course, Senator, Senator Palpatine. Now, if you look at the details on these, um, I'm not going to bother putting a picture up because I want to make this a pretty quick video. The details on these figures are much better than the Power of the Force 2 were, because I've said it before, all the Power of the Force 2 was, they just had them all beefed up trying to match He-Man, so they didn't really match the movie. These were very, very close to the movie. Of course, you go to sell them now, uh, you're lucky if you get 2 $3 a pop. I don't think any of them are really worth a lot of money. I really don't care about the money, these are more about the memories. More about the memories. And the whole reason that I was into it with my daughters is because I wanted them, have a, them to have a similar experience that I had when I was a kid going to see Star Wars and looking forward to getting the toys and playing with them 
Yes, I know. We didn't open them. There was there was a few that got open. There was a few that got open, but not all of them. I mean, we, we, we went a little nuts. I mean, that's what I do. I, I get obsessive about things. We did have them all, and then they were proud of them for the longest time. But, you know, then they grew up, and they uh, moved out. And uh, But I kept my four favorites, and uh, I was talking to my oldest daughter the other day. I'm like, do you remember the Star Wars things? And she remembered we had all of them. And then she started getting a little mad when she found out I sold them. I'm like, well, you you said you didn't want them. You you weren't interested anymore. And I am the Star Wars guy. And I'm, I cut down my collection like big time. I have literally two full rooms full of Star Wars vintage toys. And uh, even some of the Power of the Four Ships and stuff. I, I talk about that on my channel all the time. If you want to go back and look at some of the other videos. And she's like, well, I really wanted da 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 and, and she wanted Jar Jar Binks. And that just kind of made me want to off myself because Jar Jar Binks sucks. Jar Jar Binks sucks. Who wants Jar Jar Binks? That would not be my first choice. My first choice would probably be a, a really good Darth Vader figure. And of course, James Earl Jones passed away today. And I did a video about that earlier. That's why I'm a little manic right now. But yeah, uh, but it comes back down to these things are worthless. Again, just like the the ones I did about the gold uh, the gold figures that came out uh, to 2019, I think nobody wanted them. Nobody wants these guys now. I just don't get it. They're cool. They're the sculpts are nice. The, they're they're more articulate. They're more in detail than the vintage ones were. And with my kids having gone through that a little younger than I did, going through their Star Wars experience with uh, Episode One, Two, and Three. Yeah, that's right. Episode one, two, and three. Uh, I just thought maybe they might catch the bug like I did. Now they don't care. They're they're all grown up. They have their careers and they're doing their thing, and they're not interested in this stuff any at all. So of course, you know, I'm selling it. And got got rid of most of them. I kept my four favorites, but nobody's paying any money for them. So it kind of makes you think. You know, I'm I'm at the point now where I'm just afraid to buy anything new because nothing's going to be worth anything. You know, I might as well just, or if I do buy it, open it up for my own pleasure and sit here and play with it like a like a ten year old. Which I'm not against doing that. I do it all the time. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. What is the most worthless Star Wars figure that or Star Wars toy? What do you think is the most worthless Star Wars toy that you own, but you like it and everybody else hates it? You know, whether it's a series of uh, a series of figures. Or a certain ship. What is what? What do you own that is most wor most worthless to everybody else, but you really like it? Because that's my quandary with these four guys here. I'm not gonna buy. There's no point in selling them. I like them. I'm keeping them for myself. I'm not gonna open them. I don't even have the wristband, or well, it's not a wristband. It's a platform to put the Com Tech thing on. I don't have that. Um, I might have over the years, but it's gone. Uh, just curious. I know I'm being a little weird. But, you know, it's me. I'm always weird. Let me know in the comments what, like I said before, what is the most worthless thing you have that no one else likes but you like. Okay. Bye. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and come back.